Hey, hey. I'd like to share my uh, project with you guys, my uh, smoker project. This is Project Burn. Um, it's a 80 gallon smoke chamber with a 40 gallon firebox. They're both, uh, they were both air compressor tanks and uh, they sit on a 4x6 trailer. The very first thing about this is the firebox. It's a 40 gallon firebox. It's roughly about 3 feet by 2 feet wide. I got a slag hammer as a handle. Just bent it, heated it up and bent it. Doesn't get too hot when I open it. These are 3 inch uh, black steel uh, pieces of pipe that I got through for uh, dampers. I used a, a C clamp there. I just cut it off and I used that as a handle and uh, bent some uh, half inch rod and they just tighten right up. I usually cook with them wide open and if I have to, if it gets too hot, I shut them down. They both open up and lock into place. That's a little shelf for uh, charcoal. You can set your charcoal while you're pouring it into the tank, into the firebox. There's the inside. Got pipes. This is the inlets that go into the smoke chamber to get everything hot. And there's the grate that it sits on. Logs and charcoal. Comes out for easy cleaning. See that hole down there? That's for my ash. You got a gate valve down here. Opens and shuts it for easy cleaning. I also use it as an air damper as well while I'm cooking. These shovels here is what I use also for cleaning and for moving logs and uh, charcoal around. I completely covered this with, uh, with expanded metal mesh all the way across two inch ball hookup. I bent some uh, three, eight, three eighths steel stock. I bent it up so it could hold my, my hook and chains up right there and I welded them on. Gets held up right here with the handle. I aligned it on center with uh, this Texas cutout and it just lands right on it. Painted it all with uh, black high heat paint. This ball valve there, I use that as a control as well for uh, my fire. I uh, usually keep a nice good fire going, modest fire, it lasts pretty much well all day long. I uh, will close it when I want to shut it down, I'll close the dampers off and uh, it'll shut everything down pretty quickly. There's a 3 inch black steel that I use to uh, go through for the smoke chamber. Goes through, it goes in there so there's no fire in the smoke chamber, it's just all fire in the firebox for uh, indirect heat uh, smoking. There's the smokestacks, they're 3 inch smokestacks. I used a 3 8 rod, stock rod, and I also use the cutouts from the tanks. When I cut them out, I just circled them up real nice and uh, I welded them on, and that's what I use for dampers on both of them. I cut a piece of uh, pipe cut them in half and welded them on as a uh, just you know just tops to my uh, my stacks that Texas uh, cut out there my dad made years ago out of a quarter inch steel he just cut it with a torch um, had it laying around at the ranch for a while and uh, I told him to give it to me he gave it to me as a present um, and I stuck it on my smoker that's 3 8 um, broad just stock rod I use that to hold my doors open. When I, when I open my doors, it'll hold it open. It'll hold them open. I decided not to use counterweights on this. The doors aren't too heavy. I cut out two of them instead of one, and uh, they're not too heavy. Temperature gauges are uh, three inch tailors. They uh, glow in the dark, and they uh, measure up to uh, 450 degrees, actually 500 degrees. Um, they're pretty accurate. They work well. That's my rack there. I use uh, for uh, 
putting the meat on, putting seasoning on there while I'm cooking. Uh, it'll hold my rags, you know, whatever I need to put on there to hold. It does well. Down below, that's a quarter inch diamond plate steel. I welded it on the trailer and uh, that's what the smoke chamber sits on. The lights work on it. Lights work, blinkers, everything works. Had it all rewired. Did it all up again. Tires, I think they're 12 inch tires um, or 14, I'm not really sure. The toes, toes real well, does good. It's a toe jack, that's a jack I got there. Show you the inside. It's the inside of it. Pretty well seasoned. It took me about four months to build it, five months, nights and weekends. It's well seasoned now. I built I built the rack inside so that I could remove I could remove all of them individually. They're roughly about a foot long by uh, 30 inches wide. There's the, the inlet from the firebox. And I got another hole there for grease and uh, ash as well. I, use, I Sometimes I just cook on this. I use it as a charcoal grill and I'll cook on it um, as just a grill. Cook a lot of meat, a lot of chicken, briskets. It does good. I want to build this, this front end. I want to build it up so I can place uh, firewood while I'm driving on there and it won't go nowhere and I'll just cover it up with expanded metal on the sides. Build it all the way up. So there's my project. This is Project Burn. 80 gallon tank with a 40 gallon tank, both air tanks. It's my first project, first smoker I built.